Thank you sponsors, uh, uh, E-Club, Online uh, Club, Mr. Dylan, we are still waiting for MSI Mr. Mr. Sun coming. Uh, Miss Adeline from Masashi. Uh, invited guys, the press, uh, Kong Mr. Pao, Online Media, Sport Gamers, MOGDs, and those uh, other press that cannot make it to this uh, press conference uh, at Wang San Maju here today. How about uh, eSports in Malaysia? What are the conditions like? Uh, eSports in Malaysia, for your information, uh, currently Malaysia ranked number 27 in the world in the the world esports ranking according to WCG. All right. In terms of uh, public awareness, uh, esports in Malaysia are relatively low compared to other more advanced countries like uh, Korea. Korea currently is the, uh, currently ranked number one in the world. Uh, Germany is ranked number two in the world, and then uh, USA actually ranked number three in the world. All right. So there are many things that we can do. All right. Competitive gaming is actually another form of esports. And we are proud that uh, with a kind sponsorship from uh, Orange Internet Cafe, 250,000, uh, we, we actually formed this Orange Esports uh, Malaysia uh, Esports Powerhouse. That we actually formed five teams. We actually train them and support them and sending them overseas to represent Malaysia in the esports arena. So far, uh, after six months, it's information our team actually won some titles as you can see some of the titles here actually won by our Dota team the TGX recently on the they won on September 11 in Singapore but unfortunately we actually lost to Philippines in the final uh, so uh, they actually defeated team from Indonesia Singapore and other countries so they actually won 2,000 sing dollars and then most recently the exciting news they actually won the ESCC in Bangkok ESCC stands for electronic sports uh, Thailand championship all right, and then they won the first prize, 180,000 baht, which is 18,000 ringgit Malaysia, and the trophy that you actually see, you actually see in there. All right, so today uh, is our recognition for our uh, Orange Esports product team that we're going to send uh, them to uh, Paris. But let me introduce the team. Uh, can I call upon the team uh, to come to the stage? The first of all, the, the captains, uh, Moshi. <laughs> So these are the two teams that we actually have. Uh, they are the star team. Currently, they are ranked number nine in the world in the Dota Dota game. Of course, when they are they are going to Paris, uh, the game they are playing is Dota two, and then we are we are proud to say that uh, uh, E Club uh, will. It will be announced soon that uh, they will be the distributor in Southeast Asia for this product again. Without further ado, we also like to announce that uh, Orange Esports, we are actually uh, sponsoring 100,000 for the team to train and uh, to get them represent Malaysia to compete in OC tournaments. All right. Beside this uh, ESWC, we are also sending them to a uh, World Dota Championship in Wuhan, China in November, November 9 to 13, Wuhan, China. Alright, so, uh, and beyond that, we're, we're getting there uh, more tournaments, especially with Dota 2 introduction uh, next year. We're going to see more tournaments. Okay. <laughs> It's the right person. So actually, Mushi is our star uh, in Malaysia esports scene. Currently, his uh, Facebook fan page uh, is like 18,000 uh, at least. 18,000 Facebook page uh, is fans. Uh, it's all beyond Malaysia, uh, mostly overseas in Philippines and in China, etc. Et 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 Paris, you would like to issue a trophy for the sponsor. The online e will be accepted by Dylan. Represented by Dylan, okay, one of the bosses in Dylan. Thank you very much, Dylan. Thank you. Our orange internet shop will be represented by Miss Adeline. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
our flag off to the ESWC ceremony. of your chances to win. It's very difficult to get the results. Uh, in just two months, whatever, whatever they obtain, uh, the more nine ranking in the world, they win so many tournaments. Finally, their track, the match stats is they won 21 games, they only lost four games. They won 21 games, they only lost four games. This is the world cup statistics. Guang Ming, any questions? Any questions? Uh, who do you think is uh, the the team that that is the toughest in the in the tournament? Uh, 
Now, do you think art style development will increase the chances or are you expecting another style of strategy from Navi? Uh, his retirement will not make anything much less difficult uh, because they are good as a team. Uh. Dota is a 5 man team, uh, not a 1 man team. So his retirement, his retirement alone uh, won't affect the chemistry of the team. Uh. Therefore, one good, very good replacement uh, for him as well.